Hey, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've weathered the storm okay. Let me know if you've run into any, any difficulties or anything. Um, you know, I want to make sure we're all good to go. So for today's video, what we're going to talk about is comping these multiple takes of dialogue into one, you know, perfect take. Uh, I recorded a monologue, which should be posted on Canvas for you to see, but you'll notice none of these tracks are perfect. Um, there are some tracks where I messed up certain words, certain phrases, my timing and my pacing is off. And so what we'll need to do is go through each one of these takes and then see what we can splice together, right? Find the best parts of each take to make one large and, you know, good composite take. That's why comping is called comping, because you're turning something into a composite. All right. The other thing I'll show you in this video is how to normalize your composite take once you've compiled that. All right. So let's hop into these takes. Um, I'll unmute one at a time just so we can hear. and. What we're looking for is just good timing, good pacing, and, you know, just like even volume and consistency. So, of course, one thing you'll have to look out for is making sure that I actually said the right words. There's definitely a couple takes where I said the wrong word instead of saying fella, I said guy. So, if you were working on a professional, let's say, audiobook or film or TV dialogue project, you have to make sure you get the correct words that includes studying and understanding the script. All right, so make sure you're doing that. Um, and one thing I'll show you, but we won't really use today, is playlisting. This is a form of comping in which you create multiple takes under one central take, and you can actually add the audio files in and out pretty easily. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so you'll go to the wave form button on the track area, and then see where it says playlists? That's gonna open up playlist lanes for you. What you can do is drag the multiple takes underneath the, let's say the first take, the main take. And then you create these lanes. And what's really useful about this feature is that you can line up all the takes. So, you know, maybe cut out a little bit of this first take to get the waveforms to line up and the pacing to match overall. And then you can find whatever sections you like of these different takes and even solo them and very easily add them into the pre-existing audio file. So let me show you. Um, let's take a listen to this first take here. You've always got to let the last man go. It's honorable. He's the last guy to make it out of the bag. The warrior. He's the last samurai man. So I think the way I said man was like, was a little awkward there. I was like, man, right? Um, so let me find a man that I like better. You always got to let the last man go. It's honorable. He's the last guy to make it out of the bag. The warrior. He's the last samurai man. Yeah, this one's a little awkward too. All right, let's see if this one's a little less awkward. You always got to let the last man go. It's honorable. He's the last guy to make it out of the bag. The warrior. He's the last samurai man. Okay, so better. I like that one. Okay, I'm going to try and line this up a little bit better. Let me get out of grid mode so I can move this a little bit more freely. And try and get this man to line up with this man. All right, I'm going to zoom in so I have a better look at this, right? Because um, I'm assuming man is here and I'm assuming man is here. So again, let's try and line that up a little bit better because now what I can do is I can highlight 
this section here where I think the man is better and then use this little arrow button to copy this one particular section up to the main playlist track. So see here, now I have this take up in the main playlist area. I would say this works best for if you're recording multiple takes of an instrument or vocal track, something that's dedicated to a grid and is lined up perfectly as opposed to this kind of free rhythm <laughs> vocal recording that I did. Um, so in this case, I probably won't use the playlist beyond just showing you how to do this, but this is why it can be really useful. If you're recording something that's at a, you know, using a click track and a very consistent beat, um, the playlist can be an invaluable feature for just quickly throwing in parts and out parts. So let's take a listen to how this sounds um, with this other man featured in here. The bag, the warrior, he's the last man. Okay, <laughs> so you can hear I have a little boo-boo here. I can move this forward a little bit, um, extend this clip, and then throw a crossfade on it. Remember, anytime you make an edit, you'll generally want to throw a little crossfade to smooth things out. So let's hear how it sounds now. He's the last guy to make it out of the bag. The warrior. He's the last man. All right? Sounds kind of natural. Um, and so let me play back a little bit further, and hopefully it sounds, you know, even more natural than that. So let's check it out. You've always gotta let the last man go it's honorable he's the last guy to make it out of the bag the warrior he's the last man right so this type of editing can be very tedious but totally worthwhile it's very smooth um and let's say go away um let's say that i think this word could be a little bit louder I can use the individual clip gain right here to make that, to boost that level a little bit. So let me zoom in so I have some more visibility. And I'm going to use the little fader on the bottom left corner of this clip to give it a little bit more boost, right? A little bit more level. So let's check that out now. He's the last man. Right, so that goes in a little bit more smoothly. So that's one way of you know, uh, com making a composite take or comping is by using the playlist. Again, it's this isn't the perfect scenario because things aren't synchronized to a grid. You know, I didn't record with a count off and a metronome. But, you know, imagine that you have a guitar solo and you did three or four takes of it. You can very easily swap in pieces of that solo or of different versions of the solo and then create one composite take of that. All right. So I'm going to hit command Z to kind of go back to where we were before. All right. Bye, 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 bye. Command Z, command Z. Um, I'll hide the little playlist view here and go back to waveform view. So this is the other way you can edit. This is probably how I'll edit for the rest of the video. And you know, in this case, since things aren't lined up perfectly, I find this to be a little bit easier. I can do something very similar to what I did with the playlist, where I could literally just highlight, copy, and then paste. You know, it was a little bit messy. Um, but paste to get a similar effect. But also in this case, what I could do is trim out parts I don't want or need and leave everything on separate tracks so that way I can edit things differently. Um, for the purpose of this project, I suggest that you do something similar to the cut, copy, and paste version that I just did um, because then you can have everything on one take and you can end up getting everything really smooth, level-wise, tone-wise, pacing and timing-wise. All right? So um, 
let's pretend that I already went through each take. I found the best performances of each word and phrase, um, you know, uh, and I have one composite take in take one, right? What I want to do next to make sure that everything is evened out, aside from just doing the click gain, is I want to consolidate my, my multiple takes. So let me just do a little kind of like quick <laughs> comp job. This may sound horrible because I'm going in blind here. Um, let's take this take. We'll take that take. Uh, we'll take this take. Yeah, and we'll put it here. And again, listen to these because I'm probably picking the worst performances of them all. Oh, let's take this one as a good example of one that's like really loud. Actually, timing wise, that may be wrong. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I kind of have this Frankenstein take, right? I just pretended like I sat through this and did this for a long time, which I'll do later on. Um, and so once you have this take here and you've done all your fades, remember we want to do cross fades to make sure we smooth everything out. Um, let's bring, oh, haha. -ha. That's going to be messy. So let's join these regions here. And quite honestly, I'd probably just cut it out for the noise itself. All right. Um, other things that you should be mindful in cutting out, there's a lot of mouth noises, which you'll typically get when you're recording just straight up dialogue. So, you know, let's take a listen here. Hear those little mouth, yum, 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 right? Uh, I would definitely recommend getting rid of those so you don't have as much of that awkward noise there. All right, so l let's say you made some of these preliminary cuts. You know, the most important thing I want you to focus on for the first round of editing is really just um, finding the best performances of each of these takes and combi compiling it into one take. After you do that, what I would do, all right, is go to, is highlight the track, go up to edit, and then consolidate the clip. So now you have one singular take that you can do further editing on, all right? Um, after this point, what I would do is just kind of check, see what I have going on. You've always got to let the last man go. It's honorable. He's the last guy to make it out of the bag. The warrior. He's the last samurai man. You have to give it some thought and wonder, how did this little Eminem do it? How is he skilled enough to be the... All right. Um, so you can see, for the most part, I, in, I've recorded this a million times, so I was able to kind of remember what takes were bad and not. So once you've done that, the one thing that I like to do with dialogue is get it to an audio level that is as loud as it can possibly be. So one of the ways you can do this is with the normalize function. All right. Basically, what you'll do is highlight the compiled clip you've created, go up to audio suite, other, and then what normalize does is, is it brings up the signal of the entire track without bringing up the noise, all right? And so that's why it's able to get so much louder without also getting noisier. So I'm going to render this so we get a nice, strong, healthy track. All right, and hopefully you just saw that the waveforms just like spiked up. And this gives us dialogue that will really stand out against, you know, all the types of ambient tracks, music tracks, sound effects that I also want you to add to this. All right, so let's take a quick listen to the normalize function. You've always got to let the last man go. It's honorable. He's the last guy to make it out of the bag. The warrior, he's the last samurai man. 
All right. So that's the gist for just getting a basic composite take, right? Finding the best performances of each individual track of, you know, different words, different phrases. Remember when you're editing, it's always more natural to edit by phrase rather than individual word or syllable. Um, it doesn't sound as choppy. You get the performer's natural flow. So look out for those things. Um, and then just remember to make fades, you know, anytime that you're having these edit and cross points to get rid of like, you know, look at these little blobs here. Um, you could trim, of course, and then add a little fade just to smooth out the different clips. All right. Um, other than that, just remember too, if you want to smooth out the volume differences, the level differences, you can also use the clip gain, right? Um, let's just say one word, like at the very beginning of this, as I had showed you, um, is just a little bit too loud. Then you can use the clip gain to, gain to either turn that up or turn it down. All right. So that's really the first step comping all these takes together and then just getting a nice normalized level where all where the volume is very consistent cool all right have fun comping have fun normalizing see you next video